Welcome to our instructional video on assembling the rigid paediatric bronchoscope. Our standard set consists of a size 3 and 4 rigid paediatric bronchoscope, a 0 degree Hopkins rod, optical forceps, a Benjamin slotted laryngoscope, light prisms, instrument rubber guides and suction rubber guides, and equipment for recording and illuminating the procedure. This procedure is commonly used to assess paediatric airways and remove foreign bodies. The ventilating bronchoscope has four openings at its proximal end. These are for light lead to be attached, for the insertion of instruments and the telescope, suction and finally for ventilation tubing. There are two bridges available in the set, the long and the short. The long bridge goes with the shorter bronchoscope and the shorter bridge goes with the longer bronchoscope. The first step in assembling the bronchoscope is to attach the telescopic bridge. It is aligned and pushed and clicked into place. The bridge should not move. Once the surgeon has selected the size of the bronchoscope, is further assembled by attaching the light prism, which is pushed in the full length and then withdrawn halfway. Next, the Hopkins rod is inserted into the bronchoscope First, the bridge is checked, the ends are aligned, and the endoscope passed through and locked into place. Next, we attach the suction guide catheter by placing the rubber bung over the top, passing it into the slot as shown here. It is then passed in, rotated and pushed down, locking it in place. Flexible suction catheter may then be passed through this to suction during the procedure. Finally, once the bronchoscope is in place, anesthetic tubing is attached here. This allows the patient to be ventilated. This image shows the final position for the setup of the bronchoscope when it's inserted into the airway. If a foreign body removal is being performed, the next step is to disassemble parts of the scope. The Hopkins rod is removed, followed by the bridge. The patient can continue to be ventilated via the rigid bronchoscope and to prevent air leak, a rubber bung or guide may be placed over the end. Instruments can also be passed through this. Next, check the optical forceps and insert the Hopkins rod through the optical forceps. The endoscope must be locked into place to avoid rotation. The instrument can then be passed through the end of the rubber bung and this is the final position that it would take. Finally, the Benjamin slotted laryngoscope is often used to help insert the bronchoscope. The light prism must be passed into the laryngoscope to allow illumination. First, the lead is attached to the prism. It is then passed into the slot, clicked into place, and this shows you the final position. Thank you for watching.